Kojo is a clinically healthy gorilla, but it is at risk of developing heart disease. So our goal is to monitor him clinically to make sure we catch him before he starts becoming ill. We anesthetized him last week and we, we looked for the best places that we could insert this device. We did a process called mapping, which is where we put it in different regions around his body to see where we could still pick up the EKG wave, but in a location that wouldn't bother him. We looked at just below the skin and the, uh, and the sternum, we looked at his armpit, and in the end we found a place on his back where it wouldn't bother him at all, but yet we could still receive the EKG waves. We have been struggling with treating the gorillas for years. And when we have a gorilla that has disease, we struggle with how to assess the gorilla and how to monitor the gorilla clinically. And it occurred to me that we have a device that we use in humans that could potentially be useful in the gorilla population, helping us manage these gorillas. In essence, Kojo has a very small jump drive or USB drive between his shoulder blades and his back that is monitoring his heart and his heart rate and his rhythm all the time. Initially, one might think that it would be difficult to train a gorilla to present a different part of their body to the edge of an enclosure, but as you'll see, our keepers were able to very quickly train Kojo to press his back up against the enclosure and to get these readings through positive conditioning. I was down at the Great Ape House this morning and Kojo went right into position, leaned his back up. Amanda was able to put the monitor right over the implant site, which as it turns out, Kojo is not touched at all. It doesn't bother him, it's not sore. None of his group mates tried to pick the implant out. So, so far everything is going along better than we could have hoped. I am really happy to see this tracing. It's an ECG tracing that shows our gorilla has normal sinus rhythm. It also lets us know that our technology is working. This is a really exciting time for us, for me personally and for our entire team here at Smithsonian's National Zoo. It's a time that we get to use all our resources to do what we're here for, to provide the best that we can in animal care. We've got a wonderful group of gorillas, orangutans, endangered species that depend on this to help take care of them. And through this information and through this process, we're learning more information that will help keep them alive, help them live um, healthier lives, and hopefully this information will expand to other zoos and other species. And once again, Smithsonian's National Zoo will be at the forefront of caring and um, diffusing knowledge, one of the most important things we can do.